So this morning as we get started, I uh, just wanted to say uh, happy I love you day to my sweetheart. Happy I've already, ha ha ha, sweet, sweet, uh, sweet uh, we're just blessed today. Yeah. Uh, we're blessed yeah. to know Jesus first of all. Yeah. You know, the scripture in Amos says, how can two walk together except they agree? Right. And, uh, you know, the, in, uh, the intent of that, some versions will say, how can two how can two walk together unless they're going the same direction? You know, so if two people are going, uh, walking together, if we're if one wants to go to uh, like in Dixon here, if one wants to go to the dollar store, the other wants to go to the courthouse, and uh, and we can't come into agreement as to uh, which direction we're going to go, yeah. Uh, yeah, we could end up separating and go two different directions. Okay, uh, but if we if we uh, you know if we're walking in love, we're going to want to. Uh, honor and prefer those that are around us above ourselves and, and to me uh, Valentine's and uh, I mean, Valentine's and uh, Valentine's and uh, and different holidays remind us to uh, to love each other to uh, prefer our spouse yeah. above ourselves. and uh, today I wanted to talk with uh, talk to you with uh, Donna here mm -hmm. about expectations you know, we all we all have expectations, and uh, we've got to uh, submit those expectations to the Lord. But let's uh, let's look at some expectations. I think I know mm. kind of what uh, I didn't expect this year. Maybe right. was this beard. I love it though, and this long hair. Uh -huh, yeah, just, we, got... we decided to grow our hairs out. So yeah, she here. grew she grew her, uh, hair on her head, and I grew it on my face. So, <laughs> so uh, first that's time, been fun. first time I've ever uh, oh, grown a beard that. like this. So yeah. uh, anyway, Good. Uh, if you want to post a uh, comment, uh, keep the beard, shave the uh -huh, beard, you know, whatever. Keep, if you want to do that, that's <laughs> fine. Because uh, uh, sometimes I get tired of it and want to just cut oh, her off. Don't get but uh, anyway, hey, you know what? How can two walk together unless they agree? Mm. And marriage must be built. And I, I know we're going to be talking about marriage, but this can also go for those who are looking to be married. Uh, if you're yeah. in a relationship with someone and you're talking about marriage, there are some things that mm. you've got to get yeah. aired out and on the table. Right. Uh, before you get married, but if you're already married, uh, if you have a good marriage, you can make a good marriage better. better. If yeah. you've got a struggling marriage, you can make a struggling marriage a great marriage. Mm -hmm. So we believe that today. And all expectate, and all relationships have expectations in them. Uh, so uh, each person, we all got different expectations as to what we, what we want, need, and all that. But uh, I'll just say this, that if if we're going to walk together as a married couple, we've got to uh, clearly understand what one another expects and uh, and try not to, once we understand what the other one expects, try not to um, uh, create, uh, uh, be an agent of disharmony uh, by just intentionally uh, continue to go against what the other person expects. If, or even demanding I, our way. You're like, I want you this way yeah, or I want right. you that way. Well, you know, I might like the toilet paper on the roll one <laughs> direction and she might like it the other direction. Yeah. Well, I have to decide, is toilet paper, is the way somebody uses the toothpaste. Yeah, like, come on. We, we, we determined that I've got my own bathroom, she's got her own bathroom, so she can put the toilet paper on the roll however she wants. Right. Thank uh, you. you know what? <laughs> and in toothpaste, we don't share toothpaste, uh, so I I squeeze it the way I want. She squeezes it the way she wants. So hey, there you go. We yeah. uh, there's there are ways of fixing some problems that don't need to be problems. Yeah, okay? fixing the home thing, right? <laughs> but if you can't, yeah. But if you can't, uh, if you can't agree on, if you don't uh, like the choices that your spouse makes, then. Somewhere along the line, we've got to we've got to make a choice. And two, to agree. preferring one another. If he was in the bathroom with me, I would hope to do some things he really liked. Like sure, yeah. One thing is uh, is he needs a lot of space. So you know, just because he, he women think they're uh, they got a lot of stuff. Well, men do too. Men men have a lot of things they want to do and yeah. need to do. So let's talk about yeah. uh, gotcha. uh, 
I'm just going to read this uh, paragraph here and the, the message here as we get started. Do you have expectations that are clearly understood by your spouse? Some expe expectations may seem outdated or old-fashioned. Okay. However, expectations are present in every relationship. Uh, I'm going to talk about several categories here. We're going to just briefly bring them up, hopefully briefly. But uh, what is important to you? Keep in mind, Song of Solomon chapter 2, verse 15 says, It's the little foxes mm. that spoil the vines. It's the little irritants okay. that get on each other's nerves. It's the little things. It's it's the toilet paper. It's the toothpaste. It's the it's the way you wash the clothes or don't wash the clothes. You know there there mm -hmm. are uh, there's a lot of expectations that we have because of what we believe. Mm -hmm. So you know for instance uh, communication. Uh, you know what what make what means what makes for good communication for you? Well, I think especially for me is uh, eye contact stopping you know whatever you're doing and just I need undivided mm -hmm. attention mm -hmm. because um, sometimes if we don't stop and do that we later on it's like what don't you remember I told you that or you told me this I'm like but I don't remember it's because I didn't stop and intentionally take in what you know the what he's saying yeah. So. Well, you know, and, and, and men or women, because this goes both ways, uh, you know, sometimes we can be giving someone our eyes and ears, hmm. but our mind is not there. Uh-oh. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> I can sit here and look at Donna. I can listen to her, but really not hear her because I'm thinking about something else. That's rude of you to and tell me that. And that's very rude. <laughs> now I know. Well, you know, the truth is what it is, okay? Oh. So, uh, you know, just because you have somebody's ears and eyes doesn't mean you have their heart. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you got mine, so oh, we're good to go. Thank you. I do have uh, mine. Intimacy. Now, that, that's a... Uh, these are all things I believe that before you even get married, uh, you need to go through some premarital counseling. I've seen married, I see people get married, even if it's their second or third or fourth marriage, and and think, you know, I've done that before. I know how this works. I know what's supposed to happen, mm -hmm. you know. And they go into an, a marriage with an expectation, find out that it's that it's not met when they do get married and then they choose to get a divorce. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, uh, yeah. communication yeah. is important. That's why communication was the first thing on my list here. But communication is important all throughout the relationship that you have with someone. Right. Uh, communication is not just something to, uh, to pass time. Mm. It's not just something to pass time. We, uh, we want to communicate effectively so that the other person really knows what we think, feel, how how we see things, yeah, and, that's why and understand what the other and what the other person thinks as well. Yeah. Because you you know I think you alluded yeah. just mentioned it a while ago, but that way you can ask the tough questions. Right. You know, what yeah. do they feel about having kids? What do they feel about right. how to save money or, or whether to yeah we're going to live? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Okay. yeah there's a lot. Of, <laughs> intimacy is yeah. the is the first one. A second one on my list here. Okay. Communication is first. Intimacy is probably one of the the most important aspects of our relationship. You know, when men and women. When, when we're communicating with someone and they're not looking at us, they're off, like Don said, when they're off doing their own thing, thinking their own thoughts, you know, that intimacy starts with, with eye contact. The, the intimacy starts with communication. So, you know, an intimacy isn't just sex. Um, it's you know, in it's, to me see. Yeah. Yeah, it's, see my heart. See what's going right. on. That's yeah. right. That's right. Because we need to we need to uh, uh, realize that intimacy mm. is, is more than just more than just sex. Intimacy is is opening ourselves up and allowing the, someone else mm -hmm. uh, to see us for who we really are. Honestly, sex is just the bonding glue. When you have the intimacy and communication, and then it, you come together in that marital bed it's like it just puts the glue on the uh, see these are things that need to be talked about right, before right. marriage 
Yeah. Because you could get into a relation, you can get into a marriage with somebody. Uh, you could have kept yourself celibate. Maybe didn't even. Kiss. I've even heard of relationships where a couple didn't even kiss uh, before they got yeah. married because yeah. they wanted to save every aspect of their uh, relationship, intimate one. intimate relationship. Uh, you know, for for that marriage day, and that's that mm -hmm. is admirable. Those that have done that yeah, have amazing. really uh, have really experienced something that is very precious. So, you know, these kinds of things we got to we got to talk about before marriage okay. and we need to rehash them even after we get married. So, another thing that we need to talk about, okay, we need to talk about communication, what uh, you know, sit down with your with your uh, uh, fiance, your your spouse, uh, whoever talk about the communication, what's expected in communication, what's expected in intimacy, uh, what is appropriate, what's inappropriate, uh, time Time, time. What are we going to do with our time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's our expectation of the time that we have every day? What's the, what's the expectation? Uh, Donna talked about this a minute ago. Uh, my hands are freezing, so uh, uh, oh, uh, no, I guess I'm luck. looking out and seeing the snow in the yard. In my Ooh, my ice. fingers are uh, <laughs> ice, uh, my baby. fingers are <laughs> responding. Uh, but finances. Yeah. See, if, we, if you don't talk about these things before you get married, once you do get married, oh. then it's, it's tough. Who's going to take care of the checkbook? Who's going to pay the bills? Who's going to, uh, are, you going to are you going to come together before you make uh, uh, purchases over a certain amount of money? Yeah. You know, like, yeah. you know, maybe five or ten dollars, fifteen, maybe that, that amount of money may not. Usually after 25 make, we consult one another. Yeah, we try to yeah. consult one another when you get, you know, you get you beyond. Get and plus, you know, you have to have in your own heart, would I want to do this without my spouse knowing about it? And that's another thing too concerning finances, or, you yeah. know, is we don't keep secrets um, right. in any area, and I know this may come up later on, but uh, because, and that has to do with intimacy, you know, you should, you don't have to share every little detail, but you should allow the other person to know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. So, finances, who's going to pay the bills, who's going to write the check, who's going to, who's going to be responsible. When we first got married, uh, we both had debit cards, and uh, that really got us in trouble because back then, everything was written down in a ledger uh, in the checkbook. Mm -hmm. Well, we had both gone to a teller or we had written checks or something and then we didn't tell the other person. We ended up overdrawing uh, one month and it ended up being a real a, a real costly yeah. mistake. Yeah. So, uh, you we know... We didn't do that anymore. Well, no, we didn't do that anymore. And, and we... Uh, yeah. You know, even though now we use credit card, a credit card for for all of our purchases when we're out, I can go back and within one to two days I know what's been spent. So that that conflict, that potential conflict, uh, it is gone uh, because we first of all have talked about how much, how much do you know? Can what do you think about doing this? I'll, I'll just you know kind of say, well, uh, what do you think about getting this? And she say, oh, no problem, go ahead. So we, we communicate regularly about our finances. Uh, I think we kind of have an understanding now, after all these years, mm -hmm. that uh, you know some things maybe maybe they're not even necessary. So anyway, we we've talked about that and we've come to an agreement on it. I'm just going to go through the the list here real quick okay. because we get bogged down in this. But I have some things I want to get into that I believe are going to be a benefit to you. I know they have been a benefit to us. And let me say this, uh, no marriage is perfect. No. Okay? No marriage is perfect. Um, and there are times when in a marriage you've got to uh, uh, you've got to go back to the basics. Uh, go back to the basics and, and many things in, in throughout your marriage, throughout your life. Mm -hmm. uh, but here's some here's some uh, issues. I'm just gonna read them off here. Okay, these are things we need to talk about, and we need to share need to our know. expectations. Know. You know, what's our expectations, and uh, and go from there. Because you know, before you get married, if if expectations are way out of balance, 
way off kilter, then you can find out before you get married by just simply talking to somebody about your expectations. And you can decide, you know what? I don't know that this relationship is going to work. Right. Because if two people, especially, you know, if you've been married before, uh, you know, you, you, you are uh, kind of going into a, a relationship with an expectation from the last relationship you had, you know, you can really get into a lot of trouble. But anyway, uh, here's some here's some things that really need to be discussed, uh, especially you know if you're younger. Uh, these are good things to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, children, how many children do you want? Uh, employment, you know, how do you raise the children? What's considered good oh. discipline? All these kinds of things need to be considered. Employment, uh, meals. Who's, who's going to cook? Who's going to cook? Yeah. yeah, and sometimes the men love to cook. Yeah. I, yeah. So men do like that. I enjoy it. I, I, I don't. So. Yeah, <laughs> I uh, do. Cleaning the house. Yeah. Who's going to clean the house? Who's going to pay the bills Shared again? Who's going to manage the checkbook? Yeah. Who's, uh, how about vehicle maintenance? Okay. Uh, you may think some of these things might be a little odd, but really mm -hmm. uh, there are women who probably do a better job than their husband uh, when it comes to some of these things, uh, okay. you know, like vehicle maintenance, you wouldn't think that that would be something you think a man would take that responsibility. But there are women who mm -hmm. know just as much, if not more, than their husband. Taking out trash. Taking out the trash. Washing the dishes. Wow, washing the dishes. Putting the toilet paper on the dispenser correctly. Oh, Family perfect. devotions. You oh. know, this is toward the end of my list. That's good. But really, uh, Family devotions are, are a must. You know, we need to have our own personal time with the Lord. Yeah. But then we also need to have a time. Yeah. Uh, Come together and say, hey, what's, what's God speaking to you yeah, today? Yeah, yeah. Share a devotion together. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you have children. Uh, there needs to be a daily, uh, daily Bible reading, daily devotion that leads the children to Christ and develop a relationship with Him. It's sad that even within the church, there are children who don't know um, who don't know the basics of the Bible, uh, parents are expecting the church to teach their children everything, but that's actually the responsibility of the home to mm. the husband and the wife to train up a child in the way they should go. Yeah. It's not the, not the church's responsibility to train up the children. It's the parent's responsibility to train up the child. So the family devotions. Uh, behavior. How are we going to behave in, in public? How are we going to behave at home? That's good. The in-laws. Uh, you know, what's... Oh, in-loves. What, yeah, in-loves. What are <laughs> holidays going to be like after okay. after married? Uh, how, how are uh, all yeah. of these things going to play out? Are we time? going to my mom's or your mom's that's on right. Christmas Day? Are Is we it, staying home? What's that's right. It's going to be, uh, you know, uh, Christmas at mom's or, uh, you know, Thanksgiving at mom. You know, how's that, how's that going to work out? So, uh, this, this next, uh, I'm going to read this. Actually, one Donna, would you read that okay. next? Uh, How you manage your expectations with your spouse concerning each of these issues in your marriage is very important. It is essential to find a place of agreement. We may not agree or like the choices the other spouse makes. However, we must find a place of agreement. Our adversary will continually try to separate and divide you and your spouse because he knows there is power available to you, to both of you, when you walk in agreement. That's you know, good. I yeah. know this is a this is a uh, Valentine's Day, uh, I love you day. Love you know, love. however you you know, some want, some don't like uh, Valentine's Day because of some past issue with uh, you know Saint Valentine or whatever. But anyway, however you think of, I, I think it's so important that this is probably the the crux of the whole message right here mm -hmm. in in this one paragraph yeah. right here that how we manage the expectations that we have with our spouse, how we manage the expectations with our husband or wife uh, is so critical. Yeah. Because the most, the most important relationship that we will have in life is with the person that we marry. Yeah. It's not with our children. 
No. And it's not with our children because they grow up and they go and start their own well, lives. Well, you haven't made a covenant with your children to, right. to never leave the norm forsaken, which that's that right. you know that you never will. But that's yet, good, yeah. Yeah, your covenant is with your spouse. That's good. I'm going to write that down. That's spouse. good. That's good. That we haven't made a covenant with our, uh, not made a covenant with our uh, child, but with our spouse. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think this is really good because, you know, agreement uh is, you know, look at God in the beginning and Adam and Eve, you know, they walked in harmony, they agreed, and when he told them not to eat of the fruit, and they mm, went and yeah. did, that was broken. That yeah. fellowship was broken. Well, the power of that yeah. fellowship and the power of the agreement. Yeah. See, it's one thing to have fellowship with somebody, agreement. and it's great to have fellowship. We can have fellowship meals. Uh, we can go bowling and have fellowship. We can, uh, we can have fellowship around a, a pool table, a ping pong table, or a card table. You can get together and have fun you anywhere. Can get, you can get together <laughs> and have fellowship anywhere, but you may not be in agreement. Okay. Uh, I guarantee you if you're playing cards with somebody, I, I, I play board games with people, that it's obvious. <laughs> Don't go into my family. You know they like to make their own rules. <laughs> it, it's it's no. obvious that there are no rules oh. that can't be changed. Or make them up as you go. But the main, the point is that uh, yeah. that the agreement that they have is that they're going to win. Okay. <laughs> and they're going to win at whatever cost. No, I, I'm not like that. Right so uh, <laughs> I mean, everything from playing golf. I play people. I play golf with people that. Uh, they would move the ball because it wasn't in a favorable place for them. Uh, I think you know, I know who that was. That's a, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, you know, I can't, uh, you know, I mean, if I've got permission to do something, fine, but uh, to just stretch the rules of a game to, to make well, it easier, it just... You know, they must be going to have fun and not to make any, you know, like compete or whatever. Well, and I guess with me, something like golf, I, I play against myself. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, if I'm playing, uh, say, uh, what's that one game we got that's the connect the, uh, the cards and the, oh, uh, the uh, big board? Uh, sequence. Sequence. I mean, play the game of sequence. Uh, you know, I don't... Uh, I'm not playing against myself in that game. I'm right. playing against us, against somebody else or a team. Yeah. So yeah. you know, uh, you know, surely Agreement. we want to we want to play to win. Agreement. But yeah. Uh, yeah. anyway, we need to. Uh, there, there doesn't have to be agreement when you're playing a game. Fellowship doesn't mean you agree. But when you're in marriage, yeah. When you're married and you're trying to make decisions that strengthen the bond of love in the relationship and the, uh, protect the home, yeah. uh, you know, there has to be agreement. Yeah. Uh, one of the yeah. key points in this paragraph that I, I believe that the Lord uh, spoke to my heart this morning, because uh, this is hot off the press today. All Praise right. the Lord. Can you say amen? Amen. Praise God. Um, we may not agree okay. or like the choice or choices our spouse makes. However, Green. when we're communicating, uh -huh. when we're sharing our expectations, there has to be a place of agreement. Okay. You know, that may be a pretty big place. Place of agreement. Uh, it could be a narrow place. It could be a big place. But whatever that place is. And you do is, have to allow some place, some space, some, you know, for the for the relationship because you know like we talked many times it's not about being right yeah it's about the relationship about the relationship amen yeah. well since marriage is the most intimate relationship we will have next to our relationship with the holy spirit uh it must be continually developed and nurtured good point trust yes. must trust may be developed over time we can we can mm -hmm. develop trust in someone over time where our expectation is we know what this person's going to do. We know they're not going to hurt us. We 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 know that we can trust them to yeah. do uh, what is a, what is so right. So trust is developed over time. Trust is developed over time, but love is something we do, and it's unconditional. That's good. Ooh. See, we may not we may not fully uh. trust someone else. But the scripture says that we must walk in love, love with everyone. We must walk in love with everyone. 
And that is an action word. That is something that we do. Love is something we do. Love uh, is a verb. <laughs> DC Talk uh, wrote a song. Yeah. Love is a verb. Yeah. You know, that's right. Love is a verb. We're, love is something we do, and it's something that's unconditional. If our love for someone is conditional, then mm -hmm. it's really not love. No. It's pretty much selfish. Oh, uh, that's now, it. That's yeah. one thing. You know, we, I don't, I don't want to hurt Donna. And I don't want her to hurt me. So our expectation can be if if we get hurt or we hurt one another, that we our expectation should be that we don't hurt each other. Right. But when we do, we should have the expectation that we're going to make it right. Yeah. And honestly, most of the time people don't not every time, but people are not setting out to hurt one another for the most part, especially those you love right. and you, you're close to. So a lot of times uh, we have to have the attitude with one another, with others, forgive them, Father, for they don't even know what they're doing. Yeah. That's why forgiveness can come so easy because Jesus said it on the cross. Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. The glue that holds marriage together mm -hmm. Come on. is unconditional love. That's good, yes. The glue that holds a marriage together mm -hmm. is unconditional love. I'm, I'm underlining that twice. That's good. Amen. That's good Amen. Word. I'm putting a heart by it and everything. Love know. does not consider how it was wrong mm -hmm. and doesn't demand its own way. Agape loves believe agape love believes the best is long suffering and allows for deficiencies in others. Mm. Yeah, you know, I think that's an important point to hit on and make here is that we all have deficiencies somewhere in our uh, in our character. Mm. We all have minor, you know, sometimes minor de uh, deficiencies, not maybe not in character, but just in the way we do things. Maybe, maybe I don't communicate as effectively as Donna, and maybe she doesn't communicate in some areas the way I do. But you know, we have to give allowance for one another, realizing that neither one of us is perfect. Right, right. Neither one of yeah. us is perfect, and we have to. I guess, like this, this actually comes out of First Corinthians chapter thirteen, uh, the definition of love. We well, know when you've got long suffering and allows for deficiencies. You know? Yeah, and and that's so good because that takes time to sometimes, especially if you got a lot of selfishness. You know, you've grown up trying to like survive and take care of yourself. Yeah. You know, you get that those protective walls around you, and right. it's like. Yeah, but I don't want to be hurt. But you know, we have to take risk in love and and yeah. realize and get to those safe places with one another to yeah. where we can, you know, uh, right here we can be long suffering and allow deficiencies in others. Right. right. Because when too we see we're not perfect, you know, in ourselves. Right. Yeah. Though love allows for deficiencies in others, it prays for and believes for for change, mm. for better. You know, when we see deficiencies in each other, that should not be a place that we use it as a beating post, that we that we beat our spouse up. That's good. Uh, because they don't do a certain thing. Don't now, get stuck there, right? <laughs> now, yeah, I mean, I, I have a tendency when I see something that rubs me the wrong way, I have a tendency to make it known uh, Mm -hmm. And it may sound like nagging, just like she has areas that, you know, she's People do, and they, she's wanting something done, and, and maybe it takes me longer to do it than she is expecting. Yeah, so we can both yeah. we can both nag yeah. each other about right. the things that's important to us. Yeah. But the important thing is, is that we always come together, we pray for each other, and that we believe that I think one of the most important things that we came to the conclusion of is... My spouse is not my enemy. Yes, yes. We're in this together. Sometimes it, sometimes it may not, seem like the spouse is, yeah, is an enemy right. or is working against us, but that's not true. No, uh, That's not true at all. Um, change first begins in me. You know, we're praying for others to be changed, 
we got to realize that we too need to change. Mm, yeah, we got to, ch yeah. Change first begins in Submit. me, then is seen in others. Well, what's it say? You, re you remove that beam, that log out of your eye, then you yeah. can see the little splinters in somebody else's else eye. That's yeah. those blind spots. <laughs> you know, we think, yeah, man, absolutely. I got it all together. What's going on? <laughs> you know, I think one of the keys here is as our love walk grows mm -hmm. and develops, our expectations will change. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Our expectations will change. Yeah. And it's not, you know, sometimes when I hear the word expectation is by the Lord, I expect this. This has got to be done. You know, like a dictator. You know, you know, I expect you because, you know, blah, 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 whatever reason. Right. Well, you know, when I... Expectancy. Go ahead. When I go out and I put the key in the ignition, okay. I expect the car to start. That's good. When I put uh, like hot that. water <laughs> in the coffee maker and yeah. I put the grounds in there, I expect to get coffee. Yeah. I, I don't expect to get orange juice out of a coffee maker. There you go. That's good. That's good. Uh, I don't, at the same token, I don't expect to get bitterness out of the one that I love the most. Mm. I don't expect to get harsh treatment out of the one that loves me the most. I expect to be uh, to be talked to with respect. I expect. I think the greatest thing for men is that we expect to be respected, because yeah. remember, I'm yeah, gonna get to this important. verse. Get Very to this. Important. Get to this verse here in a minute. But uh, I tell you what. Let me go ahead and read this verse. It's Ephesians five thirty three. Well, before you go there, you said. Say that what you just said, that last sentence about, oh, it was so good because it really brought up something I think is really important um, about uh, don't expect the expectancy of others. Um, anyway, <laughs> it may come back or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, expectations are, expect, many expectations are concrete. We know exactly what something should do, but relationships are not a car. Relationships are not a coffee maker. Relationships That's are not, a ref when I go to the refrigerator, I expect the cold side to be cold. Yeah. I expect the frozen side to be frozen. Yeah. Uh, you know, there are, That's good. you know, people are not machines. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good, that's, oh, that's a good, good point. Thing. People are not machines. Yeah, write Amen. that down. People are not, and that's, that's good, you can write this down too. And that's, that goes to the point I was going to make. Uh, a lot of times, or sometimes, evidently there's something that's happened or is going on in the heart or mind of the other person yeah. that may cause them to lash out. I know with me, it sometimes it takes me a few minutes to get my, yeah. if I hear something or read something, it takes me a minute to get my bearings together. Okay. You know, because I just want to, mm -hmm. it's like my world is <laughs> almost gone out of control and it's like, hold on, you know, okay. And I may come at Mike in a way that is very harsh. I do. I have done that many, many times and I. And he has really learned me, and, and I'm learning myself that I need to just stop and, you know, realize it's going to be okay. You know, I'm going to be okay and figure out what's going on. But And then right. you comfort me and help me so I, you know, or help each other so we don't lash out at one another. Because mm -hmm. I know he's seen that with me many times. Uh, and anyway, so I think I that's think one of the most important things she's talking, she's saying there is we've got to learn ourselves yeah. enough to know when yeah. we need to back off or back away when a confrontation is inevitable, because really confrontation is not inevitable. Right. Confrontation yeah. is not something we expect, but yep. we can fall into. Uh, a, a, we can fall into strife, we can fall into yeah. confusion, we can fall into anger and frustration by not knowing first our limits mm -hmm. and then putting the brakes on when it's necessary. It's like somebody said, oh, you know, uh, I've heard heard said that when when you're angry, uh, 
count to 10 before you say something. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think that's pretty that's good, good advice. Uh, when we get angry, the, just yeah, when we get angry uh, yeah. take a few seconds before you say something because the first mm -hmm. thing we say when we get angry may not be edifying. It probably never may, is. Yeah. May not, yeah. may not right. build up or strengthen that person that we're having conversation with. So instead of just lashing out, uh, we need to cut, check back, you know, check ourselves and say, now, what am I feeling here? Why, why do I feel this way? Yeah. You know, what, what do I feel is being taken from me? Because yeah. usually, you yeah. don't, That's usually true. you don't feel, uh, you don't feel violated unless you feel like something's been taken from you or re something's being forced on you. Okay. So. That's a good point. That's anyway, good. Uh, Ephesians five twenty one is. Uh, I'm, I'm going to read the, that before I go into the other scripture we was talking about here, but Ephesians 5.21 in the Good News Bible, which we don't use very often, but I, I think it's, uh, it's, it's a good verse for this. Uh, Submit yourselves to one another because of your reverence mm -hmm. for Christ. Wow. Submit yourselves to one yeah. another because yes. of your reverence for Christ. You know, if you look at that yeah. passage, uh, that really is the 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 glue or the gist of uh, of developing and keeping relationships, making them strong. A key component. Is, yes. It's a key yeah. component to a strong yeah. relationship is that we yeah. submit ourselves to one another. Not oh, that right. I demand. I can't demand that Donna submit to me. Hmm. I mean, if you have to demand that someone submits to you, it's, it's right. really not submission. Yeah. It's 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 a uh, it's like a uh, what it, it's a uh, help me here Jesus it it's a uh, it's like a dictator. It's rude. Yeah. It's, a di it's a dictatorship. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, yeah. You know we're not in a dictatorship no. uh, marriage. Right. Our marriage is that of mutual respect, mutual love. Hmm. Uh, even though yeah. the scripture here in Ephesians five thirty three is contemporary English version it says. Each husband should love yeah. his wife. Now, a point to make here, uh, don't love your neighbor's wife. Yeah. Okay? Good idea. <laughs> Each husband should love yes. his wife. I'm going to underline that. His. Okay. Hus husband, his wife. Okay. okay? As much as he loves himself. Now, oh. husbands, uh, if you really love yourself... Will you talk to yourself the way you talk to your wife sometimes? Ooh, wow. If you, if Ouch, you, hallelujah. <laughs> if you really love yourself, are, I mean, are you, do you talk to your wife the way you talk to yourself? Most of the time when we talk to ourselves, it's like, oh, why, how, do they, how can they do that to me? Oh, they've mistreated me. Uh, i tell you one thing I've learned is that if you'll go through the scriptures and read what the Word of God says about you. I am a child of God. Mm. I am born from above. An I am an overcomer. Yeah. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. Yeah. I am blessed with faithful Abraham. Yeah. I am born again. I am a child of God. If I go through with, with the Word of God and build my heart up, build my spirit up with that, encourage, encourage myself my soul in the Lord, if I will do that, I don't have to be concerned about the stuff that comes along so much. It says, "Oh, you're stupid. Oh, you're just dumb." Mm -hmm. You know, we don't not, we don't no. like to have that kind of self talk, and that's the kind of self talk. Get that, rid of it if you got it. Get that's rid the kind of, that. of self talk yeah. that that people commit suicide over, mm -hmm. is that they hear so much negative self talk that they end up taking their own life. But you know what? If we will submit to the Word of God, mm -hmm, that's good. Then we'll have the ability to submit to our spouse. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, all, all the I am's. You know, people. It's a little hang up that sometimes people think, "Oh, who are you to say I am? Mm -hmm. Only God says I am." Well, He is the great I am. Yes. <laughs> I'm not. You know, yeah. I am just a child of His. So, you know, there's a big difference in saying who we are in Christ, yeah. and then you know. Uh, who we think we are, you know, yeah. that's very important because people right. get hung up on that kind of thing. So, that's right. you know, I am loved. I am Amen. loved by God. That's that's what we are. Amen. Let's let's turn this conversation now. Okay, yeah. we, we've talked about our, our expectations, uh, expectations of one another. Uh, you know, what is a good expectation? What's not a good expectation? 
uh, you know, we've hit some of this. But let's look at this in Psalm 62, verse 5. Yeah. It says, okay. My soul, wait thou only upon God, for my expectation mm. is from Him. Oh, yeah, that's good. This is a very powerful... Uh, yes. I'll put a double little that. Little verse here. Yes, uh, my soul. Just a few words say my so mind, much. Mind, will, and emotions. <laughs> my right. soul. In other words, you're, like she said, your mind, will, and your emotions. Mm. Emotions. You know, your emotions, uh, well, I tell you, your emotions can be a real, a yeah. real challenge sometimes. Yeah. Uh, we, they, it's called emotions because you, uh, think of it, uh, motion is, 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 a, is going in a direction. We get, we start, we start something rolling and then there's, there's motion. Like an engine, E-motion. Uh, <laughs> get well, you the, going. The, the energy it takes to keep something motivated, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what happens is when we're, when we're motivated by selfishness, we're motivated by the wrong things, then we get the wrong results. But if we're, if we're, if our emotions, our emotion is set on things above, you know, the scripture tells us to think on things above, not just things here yeah, on earth. Yeah. You know, you can't be too heavenly minded that you're no earthly good. Whoever said that, uh, mm -mm. It yeah, didn't, doesn't, doesn't understand, doesn't understand no. uh, relationship with the Lord. Yeah. Doesn't understand how their re relationship with the Lord affects the relationship with people. You know, you can't be too heavenly minded. Yeah. But here, my soul. My soul. You can say, my mind. Yeah. My will. My emotions. Yeah. Wait only upon God. So you're talking to yourself. Yeah. The psalmist here was saying, soul, mind, will, and emotions, wait only upon God. Yeah, because yeah. look, sin starts in the emotions. All sin, mm, if you'll yeah. think about that and really dissect yeah. that out, right. we're, we're finding out that sin, which is what self indulge now, self indulge now, yeah, starts in the emotions. If your emotions aren't filled and fulfilled, yeah, then you will, uh, you know, get to thinking about something in your mind or whatever, and and get into that that emotion of that, right. And you end up sinning, doing something you yeah. you know you really don't want to do. Well, emotions, uh, emotions are loud. Yeah. So if our but, expectation is on God, on. I'm expecting Him to fill me. I'm yeah. expecting Him to watch over me. I'm expecting Him to meet my every need. Because she's talking is. about my last, my last two paragraphs oh, okay, here. Go. Two more paragraphs Come on. here. Go, baby. Most <laughs> problems in marriage, okay, are because are because or come from the 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 idea that we expect our spouse okay. to be what only God Ooh, can be for yeah, us yeah. and to us. Yeah. There are expectations that only God can fulfill. Yes, that's it. Our basic now these are basic foundation. You gotta get a grip on the basics. Our basic <laughs> and most important needs. Now somebody say, well I need clothing, I need shelter, I need I need a car. I Sunlight. Need, I, I need, yeah, Water. I need all of these things. No, as as a human being okay. and as a person created in the image of God, mm. see, one day uh, we're going to, uh, this this world is not going to be our home, okay? Amen. Uh, That's good. You know, the, uh, the temperature, the climate, the car, the house, the clothing, all that stuff that away. is that is not going to be an issue to deal with yeah. when we pass from this life. Mm. So what we really Come have on. need of is love. <laughs> <laughs> our basic and most important needs are love, acceptance, mm. and forgiveness. And look at that. Love comes from love is God. Yeah. Love love comes from God. Acceptance comes from God. And then we also and forgiveness. Those are the three things that, I mean, I hope I'm not... I just said, so, uh, if you look at that, uh, love, L, acceptance, A, forgiveness, F. Now, what is that? Laugh. What is that? Laugh. <laughs> Laugh. Uh, but, but you know what I was going to say is... If acceptance, you want joy... 
Acceptance comes from God, and you've got to accept yourself, and you've got to accept others. Yeah. Forgiveness uh, comes from you've got to forgive yourself, you've got to forgive others, and sometimes you got to forgive God because you feel like He disappointed you. You keep that cycle flowing. That's the needs that we have. Love is uh, God is love. Our, you know, love from Him, love from ourselves, and love from others. And to ourselves and to others. Oh, you man. know, I just got a whole come new on. message out of this. Come on, come on. <laughs> if, if you want the joy of the Lord, yeah, if you want to be able to laugh a little, laugh uh, a little. you've got to have <laughs> love, acceptance, and forgiveness. What is that? I love to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I lo I'm going way back. Yeah, 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 you're going, you're on, you're on a limb by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> All right, only Father God, yes, only our on. Heavenly Father, yes. can fill the needs of the need we Ooh, have of love, acceptance, yes. and forgiveness. Yeah. He's the only one that can truly fulfill those needs. And we've got to extend them to ourselves and to yeah. others. Those same things. Yeah. Come on, because they... Oh, I mean, good. we we need to we need to allow the Holy Spirit to use us yes, to, yes. to be an, 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 a, 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 a an conduit agent. or an agent of, yeah. uh, of a blessing, a blessing to others. Yes. But when oh. it comes down to it, there's one that we can depend upon 24 hours a day, seven days a yeah, week, come on. that will never leave us, yeah. never forsake us, never turn his back yeah. on us, never walk out of the room. Yeah. He'll never say, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm, I can't help you. Yeah, I you can't know, handle this right I, now. I, I can't go. Yeah, I can't no. handle this talk. I can't handle this conversation right now. God <laughs> yeah. will never. He'll never do it. Never shut the line of communication. And down. there comes a time, seriously, Mike, in our relationship with Him where we learn that, and it brings that security, it casts yeah. out that fear right. that we don't mm -hmm. have to do it to ourselves. We don't have to do it to others. We don't have to get into those behavior patterns of, you know. Of walking out of the room or, or hollering right. at somebody. Yeah. I get excited. Yeah. That's good. Okay, I want, listen to this. Yeah. He made us, our Father made us. Yes. And He understands us Perfect. perfectly. Ooh. He understands us perfectly. perfectly. Uh. And He alone has the ability to fill every need. And to heal every, every hurt. hurt. Oh, thank you, Lord. Can you say amen, amen to that? Amen to that. Woo! Let me read that again. Yeah. Our Father mm -hmm. made us. He understands us perfectly. Yes. And He alone has the ability to fill every need. Yeah. And heal every hurt. hurt. Now, you and I, we're, we're supposed to... I like what Tommy Barnett's ministry foundation was upon. It says, find a need and fill it. Find a hurt and heal it. Yeah, I believe it. that. That's it. I believe that is that is the gist. That If you boil it all down, I believe that is what Jesus did. Yeah. Jesus came good. to seek and save that which was lost. He came to heal. Yeah. He came to deliver the oppressed. He came yeah. to deliver the, the demoniac. He, he came yeah. to do all these awesome things. But the bottom line is... Come on. Finding needs and fill them, finding hurts and heal them. And only, only, no matter what anybody tells you, uh, no, no matter money, uh, President Trump's money can't buy you happiness. Uh, you know, no, no man on earth can do what only our Father can, our Heavenly Father. Even our earthly Father, even though they may try to do us good, even though they may love us, they still, they still can't do what our Heavenly Father can. Our expectation and trust must first be in Christ. Mm. Okay. All right? Yeah. Our expectation and trust must first be in Christ. Now, yes. what's the expectation that I have in Christ? He'll never leave me nor mm -hmm. forsake me. That's it. He'll Christ. never turn his back yeah. on me. He'll never hurt me. Amen. He'll never, uh, never set me up to fail. He, he'll he'll never always on time, even though it seems late sometimes. He's yeah. always on time. He knows. He'll never do me wrong. Amen. My expectation is of is of God. Yes. And my expectation is that one day Whew, that's hope. We'll see Our him face to face. Is of God. We have hope. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You know. Yes. So it must first be in Christ. Okay. When we look to Him first. 
yeah. for the most basic needs that we have to be fulfilled. That's good. Then we can truly mm -hmm. walk in love, acceptance, and forgiveness. Now, Powerful God. Now what... I got got a couple of scriptures well, here that I want to share with you as we, I have a as little, we wrap it up. A little ditty thing here that I want to right. say from that. Go that God's love can seal, heal, deal. Then we can spill that love. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah, the splash, splash, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, uh, Matthew uh, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. See what Satan is after. Okay. Honestly, it's not you and me. What Satan is after is the Word of God that's in us. That's it. What Satan is after is is so the the, yeah. the the harmony, the unity, the agreement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because if we get in agreement with God and ourselves and others, Amen. oh my goodness. Amen. Listen to this: Matthew uh, eighteen verses nineteen and twenty. Okay. Where two or three agree as touching anything, you ask for. It will be done of my Father in heaven. Yes. For because where two or more gather in my name, Come there on. I am in the midst Ooh, of them. He is here. Come on. Ooh, yes. Come on now. Uh -huh. Come on now. Thank you, Lord. You God. know, uh, in uh, I think it's First Corinthians. I can't remember the scripture off the top of my head right now, but it says where the Spirit of the Lord mm -hmm. is, there is freedom. Yeah. Where the Spirit of the Lord is. There, there is freedom. freedom. There is liberty. There is freedom. And in the presence of the Lord is when we, when two or three come together, we come together and we come together to pray. Yes. It says you can ask anything mm -hmm. of your Father. Anything that you ask, he said, it will be done of my Father in heaven. Yeah. So what is it that is necessary? What is the, what is the key? What is the, the, the main emphasis of this? It says, where two or three of you agree. Yeah. You know. Now that. Go ahead. Go, no, go ahead. Well, I just want to say, we, as we wrap this up, we want to agree with the people that are watching. We want to set ourselves in agreement. Yeah. With God's word in and for you. That we can see God move mountains. Do things that you've been believing for. And agreement is a powerful thing because it says one puts a thousand to flight, two, ten thousand to flight, and so on. So anyway, I know I'm going to look, but I just think it's important that we agree with those that are watching. Amen. Amen. Um, where two or three agree. Yeah. It doesn't, take, uh, it doesn't take a hundred people. It doesn't take a, it doesn't take a prayer chain, even though I don't have a, I don't have a problem with prayer chains. If you want right. to tell everybody in the world what's going on in your life and that you know and that you need prayer, that's a it, it's the prayer of faith. You know, that it's saves the prayer the of faith that saves the sick anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, surely, so, uh, out of a thousand of people, <laughs> surely somebody's got the prayer of faith. But this mm -hmm. is this is the this is the point. Yeah. This is the the point of submitting our expectations to God. The point of our expectations being of Him is that when we see Him as our source, we don't demand it of someone else. Oh, that's good. Come on, say that again. When we find our expectations met in Christ and we trust Him, we won't demand mm. expectations of our spouse. Unexpected of a, of a friend. That's good. So agreement yeah. is yeah. what this message is ultimately about. Yeah, that's good. However, the expectations that we have can short circuit that agreement. The expectations that we have can can can, can, walls, can stop yeah. can can stop the flow of what God wants to oh, do. Jesus, yeah. See, we we want to uh, in order to receive God's best, I believe you have to mm. come into complete submission to Him. Yes, Lord. And then, as Paul said in Ephesians 5, he says, submitting yourselves to one another in the reverence of Christ or in the fear of God. Yeah. Mm. Ecclesiastes, and there was a point I was going to make, but um, Ecclesiastes... And this is the 
this is the important part of expectation being of him, getting him involved first. Mm -hmm. Is Ecclesiastes Ecclesiastes four twelve says, a cord of three strands is not easily broken. Okay. A cord of three strands is not easily broken. So, you know, you say, well, you know, it's just me and my wife. Well, if we go to God first, okay. our expectations are met in Him, we're freed up hmm. from unreasonable expectations of our spouse. Now, of course, we're always going to have expectations of our spouse. But when those basic needs are met okay. in Christ, Ooh, that's good. I'm not, love, gonna, I'm not going to acceptance and forgiveness. I'm not going to demand acceptance of my wife. I'm not going to demand submission. I'm not going to demand uh, anything of her that maybe at the moment she's unable to give. Mm, that's good. See, when we are whole, healthy, complete in Christ, yeah. and we see ourselves as He sees us then we don't have to have someone else's approval. We don't have to have someone else uh, prop us up, if you will. <laughs> make us, time. you know, make yeah. us feel important. Yeah. Because when we find it in him, that, that's where that third course is a cord of three strands is not easily broken. You know, you try to you try to twine, you know, you try to make a rope out of two strands, it's going to be difficult. But, boy, you get that third. I don't even think you can make a cord out of two strands. I mean, somebody could probably prove me wrong. But it's that third cord that makes the rope unbreakable or mm -hmm. more strong. He says it's not easily broken. Mm -hmm. So even with Christ in the center of something, here he says a, three, a cord of three strands is not easily broken. didn't say it's impossible to break. It just says it's not easily broken. Mm -hmm. So we've got to recognize that even with God in at the center of our relationship, we still have to submit to one another. We still have to submit to him first. We still, we have to do, this submission thing doesn't get a vacation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. We don't get a vacation from submission. Mm -hmm. But I would say that with husband, wife, and Christ at the center of the home, and with submission, being a co-equal, co-mutual thing that's part of the relationship, that I would say if submission is something flowing all the time, the marriage will never break up, never be broken. Submitting to one another, that's it. Part of submission is, hmm. it is love. Yeah. I submit in love. I don't submit in tyranny or, she, you know, she's not a tyrant. I'm not a tyrant. I'm not demanding something mm -hmm. of her. Well, let's close up because we want to look at do that. want to. So the three cord co the three, three cord 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 of three strands. Love, acceptance, forgiveness. Look Love, acceptance, and forgiveness. Amen. Back to that again. That's what. Because that's yeah. That's the whole thing. The whole yeah. Together. It completes it. It completes. You don't need seven points to make that point. All right. Mm. <laughs> three three fold cord a cord of three strands. I mean, it keeps seems circling back to that. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's so much in that. Um, Amen. Yeah, no, that's just good. Thank you for that. Praise thank God. You for well, we want to agree today. with you in yes. prayer today, and uh, if uh, if you have a prayer request, we want to we want to believe God with you for uh, for God's best. You know, sometimes I'll say, uh, you know, just believe in God's best for you. It's funny how some people don't like the idea of uh, God's best. Because I think somehow God's best has been turned into, well, he may make me sick or he may kill my kill my dog or God's best may be something just, I think some people have a weird idea about what God's best is. And even uh, God's best, people think, uh, well, who are you to ask for God's best? Well, he gave us his best already, Jesus. You know, uh, yeah. when you understand that God wants to do you good, mm -hmm. that God loves Not you, evil. That's and right. that God has That's a right. good plan for your yes. life, uh, you know, Thank you, God. we may not see all the details of the plan at the moment, but we know that our Father 
is good and he'll never leave us nor forsake us. He's not going to call us to something to make us, to, to just have us flounder and not know what to do. He's going to help us. He's going to show us what to do. He's there with us. So, you know, we just want to agree with you this morning. Yes, yes. And those of you that have been with us today or still with us, uh, hey, uh, we, we love you. We pray for you. Yes. But, uh, we want to agree with you. And the only way we can agree with you is to know what it is. Well, that, and two, you know, if no one writes in, Holy Spirit can quicken us. Yeah. We ask Holy Spirit yeah. to be involved. Yeah, gift of the Spirit to operate. Yeah. Yeah. Then word he, of wisdom, word of knowledge, yeah. gift of faith, healing. And Because we depend on that because we don't know. Yeah. But God knows what, right. exactly what's going on in your heart, in your life, That's right. in your situation. So yeah. He can speak to it. Amen. So. Amen. That's good. Amen. Well, Heavenly Father, we yes, come boldly God. to the throne of grace this morning to obtain mercy yes, Lord, and find God. grace to help Lord. in this hour of need. Mm -hmm. Lord, yes, first Lord. of all, I just want to lift up those who who are with us uh, here in this service. Yes, Father. God, we're so yes, thankful Father. that they took time to be Lord, with us Lord, today. Lord. And Lord, we know their time is valuable. Yes, Lord. So Father, yes, we Lord. pray that as they have sown Lord. time into the word today with us, that God, you return to them. Mm -hmm. Lord, yes. joy filled time. Yes, Lord. Grace filled Jesus time. Name. Yes. Oh, time that is filled with time well spent, uh, God. Yes, time Lord. that is filled yes, with uh, uh, with productivity, mm -hmm. with with uh, with joy, yeah. Yeah. with uh, meaningfulness, things, meaningful yeah. time. Yeah. Not just. Uh, not just not this, just, the uh, time, not the, just this quarantine yes, time, but yes, God, time that yes, is Lord. meaningful and yes. hopeful and hope-filled. God, I pray that you'd fill them right now in Jesus' name. And Holy yes, Spirit, Lord. we ask you, sir, to touch each one, yes, Lord, as you see each name, as you see each person, mm -hmm. Lord. Each name, yeah. each name represents yeah. a person, it represents yeah. a soul. Yeah. Each name represents a family. It represents yeah. a neighborhood. It represents yes. a city, a yes. state. No. God, each person yes, represents, God. Uh, yes, uh, uh, each name represents someone who is important to you. Yeah. And God, as they have given time to this to this service today, even though it's in our home today, God, we thank you for them being with us and pray that God, that they will receive yeah. what you have for them right yeah. now. Yeah. Lord, you see each need. Lord, uh, healing in bodies. Lord, I pray yes. for somebody right now. You, you've got a, you've got an issue in your throat, in your chest. Yeah. I pray right now for healing. Yes, be healed by the strength. Be healed of Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Yes. We agree, Father. Be healed. Be set free. Yes, Lord. Be free in Jesus' yes. name. Yes, Lord. Just receive that now in Jesus' name. Yeah. Somebody's got a headache. You've been dealing yeah. with a headache. Oh, God, I speak to that migraine. Yeah. Speak to the migraine symptoms. Yeah. Confusion. Speak to that, that yeah, yeah, that fogginess. That yeah. Yeah, confusion, fogginess, uh, uh, disorientation. I speak yeah. to that in the name of Jesus. Fear, spirit of fear. Leave, Leave yeah, now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' yes, name. God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, you're beginning to sense a relief right now, a release of that. Yes, Lord. Yeah, there's someone in your family that is running from God. We call them into the family yes, of God. Yes, come on. We call that prodigal home. Come on. We call that prodigal yeah. home in the name Household of Jesus. Household salvation. Jesus. Where the man in the jail went and his house, Thank his you, whole Lord. household was saved, Father. Thank you, Lord. We're stand in the gap for those of our loved ones. Thank you, Lord. Jesus name. Yes. Yeah. Call them home right now in Jesus' name. Oh, God, let, let them be received with open arms, yes, Lord. God. Yes, no, God. With no expectations except to love. Lord, we expect... We expect right now to hear testimony yes, of your Lord. faithfulness. Yes, Lord. Our expectation is of you this morning. We expect to hear, yes. Lord, through this time of agreement, time of prayer, yes, Lord, Lord, mountains being moved, yes. sickness being healed, yes. Yes, hearts Lord. being mended. Yes, Father. Somebody you've lost a you've lost a loved one, Lord. and your heart is heavy. Well, we pray right Jesus. now. Jesus, comfort families. Right pray right now that your heart be comforted. Lord, Pray right now that your heart be relieved. Yes. That you get some sort of relief yes. for that today. Release some Comfort sort of, of the uh, the sort of, some sort of a, whatever it takes right now for you to get uh, a sense where you can just take a deep breath and just yes, Lord. Oh, just enjoy today. But You've God. been your heart has been yeah, heavy. Oh God, love all of my 
We speak to that heaviness to yes. leave you now in Jesus' name. God says, put on a garment of praise yeah. for the spirit of heaviness. Yes. Lift up the hands that hang down. Yes. And and strengthen your feeble knees. Because yes. God moves in the midst Come of your praise. praise. Come on, praise yes, Him. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, yes, we give yes, you praise. Yes. Let's lift your hands and praise we give you Him now. Praise. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. We give you all the glory. Lord, we give you all the yes, glory. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah, Thank Lord. You, Lord Jesus. Hey, Yes. Uh, yes, Lord, yes, we Lord. love you. Yes, we Lord. give you glory. Thank you for God, what yeah. you're doing in, in the hearts yes. of the people yes, today. Lord, right now. And Lord, we lift up our, our, our city, our county, our state. Yeah. Lord, as we're in the state yes, of Kentucky, yes, uh, in, in, in Webster County, yes, in Dixon. Yes, God, we pray right now yes. for our city, our county, yes, our state. And God, we pray that your spirit would just sweep Lord. through yes. this, sweep, sweep through, through this yeah. region. Yeah. Yeah. Sweep through, sweep yes, across God. this land, oh God. Raise up and Lord, as and this uh, yes, Lord. as this storm, Come on. Uh, as yes. a storm and these uh, temperatures, bitter cold temperatures are projected to come our way. God, Jesus. we pray for mercy. 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 mercy, oh mercy. God. Lord, we pray right now that these things would, uh, that the, the heat would come back, that the that those winds out of the south would come and 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 stop this bitter cold. That the winds out of the south would yes, come God, and great. blow away these, and, and the God. pressure would build yes, to, to stop this uh, flow of cold air. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, God. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Let this uh, cold air just recede back up where it came from in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Lord, we trust you today. And Father, we thank you that we thank are you, loved. Lord. Come on, say, I am loved. Yes, I am loved. I am accepted. I am accepted. And I am forgiven. I am forgiven. And if you don't know that, you can know Jesus. that right now. You can give Hallelujah. your your life, your everything to God. Yes, yes. And amen. he will come in and he will Take yeah. up residence in you, and yeah. He will have fellowship with you. He will love you, and He will help yeah. you through everything. Yeah. Through everything in life. So yeah. today, just pray this with me, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Cleanse me of all sin. Cleanse me of all sin. I give you who I am. I give you who I am. And all that I've done. And all that I've done. And I lay it at your feet. I lay it at your feet. Even all the emotions involved. All the emotions involved. All the hurt. All the hurt. All the pain. All the pain. I give to you. I give to you. That walls will not come up. The walls will not come up. They be torn down. They'll be torn down. By the Spirit of God. By the Spirit of God. And never to be uh, brought up again. Never to be brought up again. And Father. Father. Show me that my heart is with you. Show me that my heart is with you. And that I can be. That I can be. Who you've called me to be. Who you've called me to be. My destiny in you. My destiny in you. Can be fulfilled. Can be fulfilled. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. You, well, it's been a good uh, a good time to yes. come together with you today. Uh, looking out the kitchen window mm -hmm. here to the backyard with the snow on the ground and the ice on the on the cars mm -hmm. and trees and and uh, you know we're just living for mercy. Come we're on. just uh, thankful today yeah. Yeah. that uh, that you've been able to join us. We're thankful yes. for what we see God doing yeah. uh, in our nation, even though uh, even though everything doesn't look. Right. Uh, look good. We don't go by uh, what we see. Uh, okay. You know, we know that there is revival yeah. in our nation. You want that to God that? is uh, God is doing great things, even yeah. in the midst of uh, of what we we may not uh, we may not understand everything that's going on. Yeah. But know this: God is still in control. He still. Yeah. Uh, he, he will have the final say. Come this on. nation. He still loves you. Yeah. And uh, we're just going to close in a song here. Oh, 